Well, Calvin, still it is about 600 miles to the east of the state. We have the heaviest rain now north of the center of the system. That's really significant because it's showing you that southerly wind shear is pushing the thunderstorms away from the center. So it's detaching. That's a sign of weakness. That is good. Uh, there was some weakening today, but just by a little, only about 50 mile per hour winds that dropped to 40 mile per hour winds. But there are some encouraging things, of course, with the wind shear kicking in. Uh, here's how it pans out as far as any kind of wet weather and heavy rain. For Hilo, it's going to be moving through Tuesday night, spreading Wednesday across the state, and then leaving the state by Thursday. So that's the end of the impacts for the islands when it comes to Tropical Storm Calvin. Those impacts uh, could be mostly uh, heavy rain with just some gusty winds as well. Another good thing that we like to see, this is moving fast. It's moving at 22 miles per hour. That means it's in and out very quickly, and that reduces the time that the heavy rain lingers over any one spot. So here is a look at the impacts as of now. Again, this is subject to change in case there's a change in a track or intensity, but the Big Island is really the target for that rain, up to eight inches of rain. The rest of the state has potential for up to four inches of rain. Winds at this point, they're gonna be strong, they're gonna be gusty, but they're not gonna be out of control. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds gust up to 40 miles per hour. There is already a wind advantage advisory for portions of Maui County and the Big Island and of course rough seas 15 to 17 feet.